Hi folks, second one today, uh, painting meadows um, and skies of course, using three colours plus a bit of uh, paint grey, so three colour painting. Uh, I, I always say this paint grey is uh, it's not a colour, it's a, it's a support, what I say, it's a support colour. It just just makes you just changes. Uh, you can make lovely greens with it with cadmium yellow. You've got ultramarine, uh, vermilion, uh, and this uh, cadmium yellow pale, plus the reinforcing colour. The, the it's a neutral neutral colour. Sorry, try to pick up. Oops, sorry. I need to uh, uh, put some more white out. Right, so I'm going to might change the, the colour. Put a big, uh, I don't know what that is. Put a big sky, big sky, big dark blue sky coming down. Great, graduated sky. Okay, uh, let's clean the clean the brush. Put a bit of oil. I'll clean it at the end with, with uh, washing up liquid. Right, lovely blue. Bit of white. It's a bit of message of the previous paint. as you know it's a bit uh, messy from from the uh, previous colour or work this is the uh, oil oil painting paper which is very very nice very pleased with it I've used three books, blocks, A3 A3 blocks of it. Now because it's paper, the paint dries into it, the oil dries into it. And uh, there's a membrane on the back of these short sheets of it. Which Stops the oil going through into into any backing that you might put on it. It's great, great colour. I mean, great to paper. Just look at that lighter down here. Keeping it simple for for beginners. We were all beginners once. I can remember my first oil painting. I had some trees here, here, and I had the clouds in between, locked in. <laughs> so I, I didn't realise what I'd done until I looked at it later and thought, oh, I've got to have to repaint that. Okay, so let's... Just using the white for the uh, don't spend too long doing the clouds. It's, they're quite easy once you get the knack of it. I don't want them small, but quite large. And we go down here with some lighter stuff. Now, what I can see, you probably can't, is that there's a darker colour in there 
contrast in between the two whites that I just put, or the two uh, whites, uh, that's, this is a light horizon, but the, it's that colour there is just showing through the white, so it gives an idea that there's a cloud shadow. Oh, we can just, let's just come up here a bit more. Okay, that'll do. Now, I'm going to change the cloth for another piece of toweling. But when you, uh, you do this, oil painting, uh, you do need to clean your brush, because you don't want to keep dipping it in white spirit. That's, um, that's a horrible thing. I used to, for years. Uh, but it affected my chest. And it made the bristles go from a, a soft, soft, softish uh, bristle to a brittle bristle. And I ruined quite a lot of brushes like that. So uh, I, I only use uh, a, a washing up liquid called Fairy Liquid, which is very strong. And I give them a good, all around my hand, get in there and do the bristles, do more, put more of the oil, of the soap in. And it's great. And it leaves your hands lovely and clean as well. All right, now, what are we going to put on there? Uh, uh, we could just have a sort of simple feel. Just have a well. Let's, let's just just play with the paint. So we'll, we'll knock up a bit of uh, well, now that's horrible shape. That's too too round, too even. Oh, we'll take that down to a horizon. Put a little bit of yellow in there. It's also a tree tutorial. Try to get some sort of shape. But don't beat yourself up about it, because it's only a piece of paper. Okay, there's a bit in there. Right, so let's just have a, have a field going down there. So then we'll go further over, a bit of blue, and we'll put some distant trees in. Now I try to do all this without any detail, what we call detail. I use texture, which is the same thing, but it stops you from naming things and painting to be too perfect. And we want a bit of a dark in there. So. Okay. Get some blue. This is an old Chinese uh, made brush that I've had for years. Right, okay. 
We'll just get some pretty yellow in there. Just do a little touch there just to connect it. Got a bit of this, bit of that. Look. Autumn. Right, now we've got to do a, a field. But before I do it, I've got some uh, shrubby things along there. So, bit of bit of red, blue, yellow. Mm -hmm. What the heck was that? So. So that's just a bit of shadow being cast on the uh, on the field, and now oh, it's okay. Now let's have a nice green. Hold on. Bit of red in there, bit of white, Very, very simple exercise. Just change the tones here and there. White and uh, this lovely cadmium yellow pale. These are all the student qualities. You don't need to to spend your money on expensive artist quality, especially if you're going to give up, because you can't do it. We all start off, most of us start off, saying, well, we can't do it. But it's practice. It's, uh, it's so easy to give up. I didn't quit when I couldn't do it. And some will say that I can't do it now, but uh, I don't really want a green. I, I like this uh, hay, hay coloured, but I can't make it without using yellow ochre. So we can use a red, bit of bit of white. There yeah, we got a nice, lovely, warm colour. Just a bit of colour on there. Now you can see that they're trees, but they're trees without any detail. I'll put this this tree in front. A little bit, so let's put a bit of dark around there. We've got a bit of dark in there, the shadow, so we can to change, which is the most important thing about painting. Uh, Maybe that bit blue there.
take the paint off the brush. Just want to get that. I'm going to put some uh, some air back in those, and we'll get that the light shining. I tried to put in some some uh, light shining on the uh, the trees here. If I go on the other side as well, right? Okay, we, we do a bit on the, those little trees. Right, I think we could afford to put a couple of. I might even put a couple of people in. Why not? Right, so uh, my people brush. Now it's a bit too tricky with the oil being quite a lot thicker than uh, you need for, for putting a uh, detail in. Uh, I've said it. But so I like putting a bit of white. Sorry, my head's in the way. We've got him, him there. We'll put his wife in. The red. Just uh, put a bit of uh, dark. I'll just give a little bit of uh, orangey colour on there. Right, okay, that'll do. So they're just walking, walking along. We can, if you want to put a bit of marsh in, you can indicate that by using a bit of a touch of blue. And just. Bit of a stream here. It's only just a suggestion, that's all we're doing. Mm -hmm. Go away. Right, okay, we'll put that in the mount and we'll have a we'll have a look at it and then I'll get both of them uploaded for you. I put these these pallets, these makeshift pallets, MDF pallets, in a, a stay wet box, which is really really good. Right, that's uh, so I've only got two brushes that I've used today for two pictures. Have I used that one? No, I haven't used that one. I don't think I have. I don't think so. Uh, no, I haven't used that at all. Right, okay, put a mount around it. Then I'll photograph it. There we are. Just a very simple scene with three colours. Uh, so I have a go at these things. You, what I've done, I, I mean, I used to when I when I was painting Venice, Venice paintings. I had a commission to do eighty of them. Some of them were very good. Some were very good. 
Uh, but I had probably about a dozen little dobs of paint, different colours. But it gets very confusing, especially when you're doing English landscape. Um, well, it, it, it saves you paint for a start, using just three, three colours plus the prior two primary, or three, three colours plus the white and the paint grey neutral neutrals. Uh, not much I can really say about that, other than have a go yourself at these. They're fun to do. Uh, there's, a, there's a bit of missing there. Uh, I enjoy doing them, but just that they're an exercise. And you don't need to spend hours doing a sky. You see how quickly I did that. So it's an impression, we're creating an impression. So I hope you like that one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.